Have you ever wondered if reviving extinct animals would really be a good idea? While de-extinction might sound like the ultimate win for science and nostalgia, not every lost species would fit neatly into our modern world. In today's video, we're diving into stories of extinct animals that, despite their allure, might best remain as relics of the past. From colossal mammals of the Ice Age to quirky birds and reptiles you've probably never heard of, we're exploring the hidden details and unexpected risks behind each creature. Ever imagined meeting a saber tooth that wasn't a cat? Meet the Thylocosmillus, the marsupial saber tooth that roamed South America millions of years ago. Unlike the iconic big cats we picture, this creature was a metatherian, a relative of modern marsupials with elongated, scythe like canine teeth and a robust, stocky build. Its unique anatomy, including a flexible lower jaw and specially adapted skull hints at a hunting style entirely different from its placental cousins. However, its existence was tightly linked to an ecosystem that has since vanished. Reviving Thylocosmillus might sound thrilling, but its specialized feeding habits and habitat needs would clash with today's fragmented environments. Its unique evolutionary path means we might not fully grasp its social behaviors or reproductive quirks, details crucial for survival. Bringing back this mysterious saber tooth could lead to unforeseen ecological disruptions that our modern landscapes aren't equipped to handle. Can you picture a wombat the size of a small car? Diprotodon, the giant wombat-like marsupial, was the largest known marsupial that ever walked the earth. Roaming ancient Australia during the Pleistocene, these hefty herbivores could weigh over a ton and fill a niche similar to that of modern day megafauna. Their robust build and unique dentition allowed them to process tough vegetation, shaping the ecosystems they inhabited. However, modern Australia is a patchwork of drastically altered landscapes, urban areas, farmlands, and fragmented bushlands far removed from the vast, continuous habitats Diprotodon once thrived in. Their slow reproductive rate and specialized diets mean that even if technology allowed us to clone them, ensuring their survival in today's competitive environment would be a monumental challenge. Reintroducing such a colossal creature could unintentionally unsettle the balance between native species and the altered flora of modern Australia. What if a bird taller than a grown person ruled Madagascar again? The elephant bird, known scientifically as Epirnus, was once a giant of Madagascar skies, though it couldn't fly. Towering over most modern birds, these flightless giants could reach heights that rival a human, with massive bodies built to navigate dense island forests. Their extinction, likely due to a combination of human hunting and habitat loss, removed a keystone herbivore from Madagascar's very unique ecosystem. While the notion of seeing these colossal birds in the wild may evoke wonder, their reintroduction would come with serious complications. The island's environment has since evolved, with invasive species and altered landscapes replacing the conditions that once supported these elephant birds. Additionally, their specialized breeding and feeding habits, adapted to a prehistoric world, may not mesh with current ecological dynamics. Reviving these giant birds might disturb the delicate balance that now exists in Madagascar, causing more harm than awe. Ever seen a horse-like creature with clawed hands? Ca Calicotherium. Calicotherium was one of nature's most bizarre experiments. A parasodactyl with long, clawed forelimbs and a body that bore a passing resemblance to a horse. Roaming forests and grasslands during the Miocene, this odd ungulate used its clawed appendages to strip vegetation and perhaps even defend itself from predators. Its unusual anatomy set it apart from other hoofed animals, making it a fascinating study in evolutionary experimentation. However, reintroducing such a creature into today's ecosystems would be tricky. The habitats it once free frequented have undergone dramatic transformations, and the niche it occupied has been filled by other herbivores over millions of years. Not only this, but its specialized way
way of feeding and locomotion might not align with modern flora and competition dynamics. While the calico theorem story is one of evolutionary marvel, the risks of upsetting current ecological balances make it a questionable candidate for resurrection. Could a creature that looked like a pig, but wasn't really one, wreak havoc today? Entelodont wasn't actually a pig at all, but rather a bizarre, omnivorous artiodactyl with a fearsome appearance. These massive mammals roamed parts of North America, Europe, and Asia during the Oligocene and Miocene, sporting oversized jaws and robust bodies that could intimidate even the fiercest predators. Their skull structure suggests that they had a powerful bite and a generalist diet which helped them dominate diverse landscapes. Yet reviving these guys presents significant challenges. Modern ecosystems are finely tuned and introducing a creature with such broad dietary habits and aggressive foraging behavior could disrupt food webs and outcompete native species. Additionally, their social dynamics and territorial instincts remain largely a mystery, meaning that even if science could bring them back, integrating them safely into current habitats would be a risk proposition. The hell pig might be too hellish for our modern world. Imagine a kangaroo so gigantic it dwarfed its modern relatives. Prosaptodon was a giant, short-faced kangaroo that once roamed the open woodlands and grasslands of ancient Australia. Standing much taller than the kangaroos we know today, Prosaptodon had powerful hind legs built for leaping and a uniquely robust build adapted to life in a harsh, arid climate. Its unusual facial structure, short and broad, set it apart from its modern descendants, suggesting specialized feeding habits and social behaviors. However, the ecological conditions of prehistoric Australia, which supported such a megafauna, have changed dramatically. Modern Australia is a mosaic of urban development, agriculture, and fragmented natural habitats that may not be able to sustain such a large herbivore. The dietary needs and social structure of Prosaptodon honed over millennia might clash with today's ecological balance. Reviving this giant kangaroo could lead to unforeseen impacts on vegetation patterns and competition with existing species, turning an awe-inspiring relic into an ecological wild card. What if a giant flightless predator suddenly returned from the past? Titanus, one of the terror birds of the Neogene period, prowled the landscapes of North America with a presence that defied its avian lineage. Despite being flightless, Titanus was a formidable predator, built to chase and dispatch prey with its powerful legs and beaked jaws. Its origins trace back to South America, and it later ventured into North America during a time of great faunal exchange between continents. The reintroduction of Titanus poses a significant conundrum. Modern ecosystems are populated by predators and prey that have evolved without such a unique, flightless carnivore. The specialized hunting techniques of Titanus, honed for a bygone era, might not translate well into current environments environments, potentially leading to dangerous competition with existing apex predators. The habitats it once called home have been drastically reshaped by human activity and by climate change, and resurrecting Titanus could disrupt the intricate balance of modern food chains, transforming a relic of the past into an unpredictable threat. Have you ever wondered what an elephant with a couple extra tusks would look like? Gomphotherium was an ancient relative of modern elephants, boasting not just a single pair of tusks, but an additional set on its upper jaw, a feature that made it stand out in the prehistoric megafauna lineup. These versatile proboscideans roamed vast swaths of Africa, Eurasia, and North America during the Miocene, adapting to diverse habitats from lush forests to open plains. Their unique dental and cranial structures suggest a varied diet that could handle both tough vegetation and softer plant matter. Yet modern ecosystems, with their established elephant populations and vegetation dynamics, may not be ready to accommodate a creature with such distinct feeding and social behaviors. Integrating these guys 
back in today's world could lead to intense competition over resources and unexpected shifts in plant communities. While their extra tusks evoke a sense of prehistoric wonder, reintroducing them could ripple through ecological networks in ways that we can't fully predict. Can you fathom a creature with a trunk-like snout that wasn't an elephant? Palarchestes, sometimes referred to as the marsupial tapir, was an oddball of Australian megafauna. With a peculiar trunk-like snout and uniquely structured limbs, this creature defied conventional classification. Its strange appearance was paired with specialized feeding habits, likely designed to forage in dense, rugged landscapes. Palarchestes' evolutionary path diverged dramatically from other marsupials, suggesting a level of ecological specialization that modern environments might not support. Today's Australian ecosystems have been heavily altered by human activity, invasive species, and climate change, leaving little room for a creature with such niche adaptations. Reintroducing Palarchestes could spark unforeseen challenges, from altered plant dynamics to potential conflicts with current fauna. Its captivating, if unconventional biology serves as a reminder that not all evolutionary marvels are suited for a modern comeback. What if the myth of a unicorn had a basis in reality? Elasmotherium, often nicknamed the Siberian unicorn, roamed the vast steppes of Eurasia during the Pleistocene. This massive rhinoceros-like creature sported a single, enormous horn atop its forehead, an attribute that fueled centuries of unicorn legends. Despite its fantastical appearance, Elasmotherium was a product of a harsh, cold, environment. Its thick hide and sturdy frame perfectly suited to the challenges of glacial climates. However, the ecosystems that once supported this unicorn have long since vanished, replaced by modern landscapes that function on entirely different ecological principles. Its dietary needs, migratory patterns, and social behavior are all tied to a world that no longer exists. Reviving Elasmotherium could inadvertently destabilize contemporary ecosystems, where competition and resource allocation are finely balanced. Though its horn captures our imaginations, the real-life implications of reintroducing such a creature remain steeped in uncertainty and ecological risk. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Livy Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.